now we proceed to the back bodies. For the back bodies, you need your triangular or rectangular fabric. I'm also going to be using this muslin fabric. I also made a straight line so that I will indicate where I'm starting the draping from. Also start your draping above your neckline so that it can cover up the shoulder line. Okay, so I'll pin So this is just a rough sketch of hambo. You make the good markings as in the right markings while the fabric is laid flat. So I'm going to cut this out. And then I will notch in two. Can you see? It's meeting at the same point now. Okay, so I will draw it how we do it. So the last part, which is the waist part, you ensure that the waist is smooth here, can you see? And then you pin it like this. Okay, can you see? And then you make your markings to the side this way. So that you can identify where the side seam is. Now the excess we have is all going to the waist area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll trim this off. I won't get to the waist. I'll just trim it off almost to the waist area. And then trim this off as well. Now, I 
have the waist that right here you see the shoulder the waist that all the way i'll try and align it Okay, so I will unpin and make the markings at the other side. So. Then I will rule the waistline. I'll mark the waistline. She's right here. Okay. So this is pretty much everything. I'm going to trim off the excess one. Okay. So we have it all ready. This is the front and this is for the back and it's all looking so beautiful. Now if you drape on the large form mannequin and find out that you have a hole here or an excess here or here, it's totally okay. It's totally normal for you to have ease here, okay? It's not going to cause gaping on anything. It's just going to make it so lovely. Thank you so much. See you in the next class where I have lovely free tutorials for you and have a lovely day. I remember Shirley Mukeni.